The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. In number four, we're asked to find the range of an exponential function. So this problem with some critical thinking can actually become a little bit easier than you might think. The range of the function, remember, is the possible y values that the function can take. So first of all, let's just think about a normal exponential function, e to the x. Remember that this function looks like that, where this is the point 0, 1. And you have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 increasing. The range of our normal exponential function is 0 to infinity. Because you can only get positive values, you can't have 0, and it goes up to infinity. So let's think about what we have here. We have an exponential, fun exponential function, but we've done some transformations to it. So we have e to the negative x plus 1 plus 3. So what's important to note here is remember that you're trying to find the range. So the range is the possible y values. Anything that goes on in the power here, we have a horizontal reflection, we have a shift left. None of those are going to change what the y values can be. If you flip this or shifted it left and right, that doesn't change the range at all. What does change the range is this plus 3, because now you just shifted the entire graph up 3, including this horizontal asymptote. So if this whole graph just moved up 3, then you're just going to have started at 3 and go to infinity for your range. So you don't need to consider what's going on here because those only affect the possible x values or if you were trying to find specific points on the graph or anything like that, then yes, you need to worry about this. But just since we're talking about the range, horizontal shifts and reflections don't change it. So all you have to worry about is the plus 3 and all that does is shift the graph up 3 so you would have a horizontal asymptote at 3, and the graph would be going up to infinity. So you just have a range of 3 to infinity, which is answer choice C. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.